Hey guys and gals, it's Trevor again. Today I'm going to be building the Acolyte Hybrids from the Start Collecting Gene Stealer Cults box. But I want my cult to be dedicated to the true power in the universe, McDonald's. So I'm going to be turning these Acolytes into fry cooks for the cult of the Deep Fried Emperor. Why am I doing this? Because I can. Alright, so let's start with our basic Acolyte who's armed with a knife, pistol, and a rending claw. The first thing we're going to do is shave off the sharp edge of the knife and cut off the tip so that it's just a long stick. I'm gonna grab some milliput and flatten it out. Then I'm gonna grab my pen knife and cut it into the rough shape of the head of a spatula. I'm gonna cut out the shape of three slots and then dig them out using the sharp end of the knife. Then I'm gonna carefully peel it off my cutting mat and stick it onto the end of that long stick our acolyte is holding. All right, I think that looks possible, so let's make a chef hat. I'm gonna roll some milliput into a rough conical shape and then press the top down to give it some flopperliness. Then I'm gonna grab a clay shape tool and use it to add vertical lines to the edge of the hat that's in contact with our acolyte's head. Now we're gonna make a nice McDonald's logo. So I'm gonna roll out a thin cylinder of milliput, then I'm gonna fold it in half, pinch it in the center, and bring the sides down to form an M. Once that's dry, I'm gonna super glue it to the top of the gun to add a bit of family-friendly fun to our shooting. To complete this look, we're gonna need to make a burger for our acolyte to hold. We're gonna start with the bottom bun, add the patty, cut out a tasty slice of cheese and flop it on, add the top bun, and then we're gonna lightly dot the surface to make it look sort of like sesame seeds. Behold! Burger. All right, now we've got to work on this productive member of society who's holding two bundles of dynamite. I'm gonna snip off this cable at the bottom of the first bundle. I'm gonna chop off the detonators and then I'm gonna plastic glue that wire back to the top of the bundle to make it look like a fun bendy straw. I'm gonna use some milliput to fill up all the ridges and gaps in our dynamite and then I'm gonna use my clay shaping tool to add a small lip to the top. Now he looks like he's holding a drink, but that's not enough. We need two drinks. Now we're gonna flatten out another piece of milliput, shape it into a little bowl. Once it's dry, we're gonna sand down the lip to make it nice and even. We're gonna add a little bit of milliput to the top of the acolyte's third hand, and then we're gonna stick the bowl on top of that to form a beautiful frying pan. Oh. Magnificent. Now we're gonna work on the acolyte with the big rock saw. So we're just gonna smoosh some clay onto its base, make a little clay signboard, cut a notch halfway down the middle, stick it on the base, and then we're gonna use our hands to tear it a bit more down the center. Now our acolyte looks like it's sawing through a competitor's signboard. Let's just quickly add some texture to the base, and can't forget to add a nice M to remind the other fast food chains who's after assembling the original five acolytes, I realized I had enough spare parts to make one more friend but he's missing a pair of legs. But you know what? That's not gonna set him back and with our inclusive hiring policy, we're gonna make sure he has a job in the cult too. So I'm gonna make a little booth out of clay, stick him in there, make a big cheery M and glue it to the back. Missing legs problem solved. Now I'm gonna prime and paint them up but I'm gonna do that in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. I will tell you that I painted a Burger King logo on that signboard so that our acolyte hybrids can demonstrate their brand loyalty, and I turned our legless acolytes booth into an order collection point. My beautiful girlfriend Kara also folded a little paper takeaway bag for him to clutch. Doesn't he look like a trustworthy and dedicated employee now? Once I was done painting and assembling everyone, I had to give them names. So of course I named them after after famous chefs and cooks. We have Remy from Ratatouille, Betty Crocker, Babish from Binging with Babish, Nadia from The Great British Bake Off, Jamie Oliver of course, and Martha Stewart. Now let's take a look at our McDonald's cultists. We have our basic fry cook holding a tantalizing meaty treat aloft, our shift manager rocking a double upsized coke but ready to hit the grill at a moment's notice, our forward facing service staff ready ready to deliver deep fried goodness into your hands, and our head of corporate espionage taking a break from the kitchens to tell competitors to stay off our turf. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you really want to help me out, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash trevorgoesmeat. I've got to say, these guys turned out way better than I thought they were going to, and I'm actually incredibly proud of them. Alright, I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you all next time.